Hello everybody, I'm your friendly neighborhood Let's Play Spino One, and I welcome you back to Let's Play Fallout, and that is Snake Logan. Hello guys. Okay, so last we left off, we did a thing for this guy. I we got awesome weapons, and I was surprised that we actually did get some of the best uh, handguns in the game. Well, actually, the best handguns in the game. And now we are gonna just go around in the hub and see what we can do. Because I have already said a lot, thousand times that there's a lot to do in the hub. So, hmm. Let's go to the good Fargo traders, actually, now that we're here. And ask about the job that was on the bulletin board. So let's go talk to Rutger. Come on, dog meat. Hello again. What can I do for you, you for? I mean, do for you. Uh, I'm here about the job that was... Uh, actually, I'm gonna ask uh, I was wondering, do you transport water? Well, we can transport water, but it will cost you. How much do you need, and where is it going? I need uh, enough to supply a vault. It's up north, just past Junktown in the mountains. A whole vault? Are you nuts? We don't have that kind of access to that much water. Plus, I wouldn't want to go into those mountains. We've had enough missing caravans. You don't? Hmm. Is there someone else who can? Oh, sorry. You're not from around here. The water merchants handle all the damn water in this town. I wouldn't even bother trying to deal with them. They're a bunch of vultures. Where do I find them? You can't miss them. They're south of here, all barricaded in with that damn water tower. So, what do you do around here? I already told you, Butch and I run the Fargo traders. Now, what did you want? Oh, great! What about that job that was posted? You're looking for work, are you? You look alright. Well, you should probably talk to Butch. Butch, 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 Butch. He's through the door behind me. Suddenly turned into a William Shatner in the end there. Well, let's go talk to Butch. Because he's right here. What do you want? Well, I want to say hello to you, Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman doesn't only do the uh, intro speech that he does for every Fallout game. He also voice acts this guy here. So I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money, chit-chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Uh, yes. Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. Okay, thanks. Well, that was easy. Yeah, Butch is a very simple guy. Well, we can talk to him later. Let's talk to Rutger again. The job pays 500 hub bucks when you can tell Butch exactly what has been happening to all the caravans that have disappeared recently. So collect any proof you, you might find. I personally think it's those damn water merchants or those gun freaks at this bar Brotherhood of Steel. Butch thinks it's some claw of death or something. Check with Beth. She would know more about that. No more than that, that. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? They're really strange. They worship technology or something like that. They have a hell of a lot of firepower. They could easily take out a caravan. They're to the northwest. Well, where's Beth? Beth rides out the door and to the right. She runs our weapon shop. Tell her you're working for us and you'll get 50% discount. Okay, thanks, Mike. So yeah, before you even think about going into this guns store here, make sure that you get a job from uh, Butch and Rutger, because, uh, yeah, the discount. I mean, you seriously want discounts in this game. So here we are at the gun store. Welcome to the best weapon shop and rumor mill. I heard that. Apparently she has a... Uh, Gift for the gab, you could say. Okay, let's let's uh, talk to Beth, owner of the weapon shop, and the other guy was uh, Sid, apparently Beth's assistant. Okay, you're welcome anytime during business hours. That is. Okay, well, it's too late to do business with her. What time is it? Yeah, <laughs> almost 10 p.m. Yeah, definitely not business hours anymore. Usually business hours are well, what you would call normally business hours. 
with some places it can be start from 7 a.m. But usually it's 8 a.m. to at least 8 p.m. So a 12 hour window, you could say. So let's stay here and wait, rest until morning. And another hour. Usually when the sun comes up, things are good. Still got 120 days to get the water chip. My brother was the last caravan that disappeared. Okay. Those damn water merchants are ripping us off. Hi there. How can I help you? Uh, let's see. Um, um. Can I ask you some questions? Of course you can. Don't be silly. What's the word on the street about the busy caravans? Some people think the water merchants are responsible. I don't think so. I think it was a darn death claw, or maybe the people at the Brotherhood of Steel. Why don't you think it's the water merchants? Because, like I've been telling everyone, they have a few caravans disappeared too. Nothing like what's happening to the Fargo traders, but they are being affected. Uh, they could be lying, or it could be part of their plan to make you believe them. Good thought, but I highly doubt it. They've been sabotaging each other for years, but this is not their style. They wouldn't spend that much money to take out the caravans. Plus, all the caravans are very heavily guarded. You would think someone would escape. They don't have the manpower or the cash to pull that off. There would have been at least one survivor. Yeah. But why would it happen to Fargo traders more than the others? Bad luck? I don't know. Maybe they're traveling along different routes than the others. Maybe because they are as heavily guarded as the Crimson Caravan, but... They might have better cargo than the modern merchants. Who knows? There doesn't seem to be any clear difference between the three. Well, um, another question about the mission caravans. What exactly is a Death Claw? The Death Claw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes of the war. Some say it's a powerful ghost from the war that haunts the land. It's no ghost, it's as real as you and me. It's twenty feet tall with teeth as big as your arm. Some kind of a demon that found its way here when the world was engulfed in fire. Do you know anything else about the Deathclaw? Well, I know this old mutant in Old Town named Harold. He's seen it. He's the only one that's uh, seen it and lived. The only one that's seen it and lived? Uncle Slappy over in the Old Town talks about it sometimes, but he's just a crazy old fool. Thanks, let's go back to the merchants. Well, there are three main merchant groups. There's the Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and Fargo Traders. They also run the City Council. What do you want to know? Well, tell us about the City Council. There are six representatives, two from each of the main merchant groups. Everything needs at least four votes to be passed. They can never agree on anything. Uh, the Fargo Traders. The Fargo Traders pay well and their jobs aren't too deadly. Butch owns the shop, a good man. They're fair and let me do as I please with the place. I like working with them. Plus you get a discount on anything you buy here if you work for Butch. The water merchants. They're in charge of the water. Really people, I wouldn't want to work for them. Their pay is the worst and their jobs are just as bad. Did they always control all the water? No. From what I've heard a while back, a group of merchants seized control of the water tower and proclaimed that they were the water merchants and people had to get the water from them. The merchant war raged on for years until a man named Roy Green, yeah, just his grandfather, that said, helped to negotiate an agreement that ended the war. What kind of agreement? Well, he set up the city council and set a limit on the price of water. Personally, I think they should have beat the tar out of them. No, oh, sorry. I mean, they should have showed them whose paws. Thanks. Another question about the merchants. Tell me about the Crimson Caravan. The Crimson Caravan are a bunch of crazy people. They will do any job, no matter what the risk. I'm surprised they aren't missing more caravans than they are. They're missing caravans too? Actually, all the merchants have had a few caravans disappear. The Fargo Tourists are just unlucky, I suppose. How risky. They will pass through an area known to be attacked by raiders. They charge a lot so they can hire extra hands. The pay's great, but you have to be alive to spend it, right? 
Okay, let's see. That's all. Thanks for the information. And now let's talk to her again, right? Yep, yep, yep. Is there any place in town I should avoid? Oh yes, you ought to stay as far away from the Maltese Falcon as you possibly can. Digger and his greasy lapdog Kane are bad news. They'll eat your life if you're not careful. I'd also give Lorenzo at the Friendly Landing Company a white berth. So how does someone make money around here? Well, I'm not hiring, but there's a job post in the center of mar Merchant Market. You might want to check there. Okay, thanks. Seriously, that ended the conversation. Yeah, the game can be a bitch sometimes. Ugh. I want to buy something. If you got money, you've got my attention. Oh, that's right, you're working for Butch. You get the 50% discount. Hooray! Okay, let's see what you got. Metal armor, leather armor, knives, batons, spears, a sledgehammer, 10 millimeter, crowbar, grenades, throwing knives, SMG, get some more bullets, BB pellets, combat knife, shotgun ammo. You're not well equipped with the stuff here, are you? At least I can get rid of these, because I really don't need them. Let's see, what else do we have that we can sell? Oh, we can sell that. No, we can't. Costs too much. How about this? Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, that's, uh, 891? No! It was 89! So she's still got 420. So that's 250. They're only 250. That's a cheap pistol. Uh, we can sell her this because we don't need it anymore. We got the information from the uh, item. And let's see how much we get from that. 30. Now I'm gonna bleed her dry. This is what I do. You really need all of the money that you can get in the game. There's nothing else that we can really sell to her. Because I think that this 20 bullets is gonna be costly. It's 50. I'll take it. I'll leave you with the 40. Offer. Talk. Thanks. Alright. So now we know a little bit more of how things are in this uh, part of town. Now, where was Old Town? I think this leads us to the water merchants. So this area here, this uh, green grid, will lead us to the Old Town area. I'm quite positive of that. So let's save and go. This is the old town area. Just as I remembered. Police officers here. Would you back? This isn't a safe place. Now we got skags. This is my bedtime yet. I'm thirsty. Skags are pretty much uh I heard an Ascorbius killed again last night. I'm thirsty. Skags are pretty much drug addicts. That's what they are. Drug addicts. So in this area, we got a few places that we can check. One of the places that you do not want to open is this door to this little room here. Don't open it. God's sakes, don't open it. You will get attacked and you will get maimed. The, those guys in that room have, a, have seriously big firepower. But also, it's a quest. And you don't want to do that just yet. I'm saving it for later. So let's go in the here and see what we can find. We have, uh, there's some police officers and Jacob, the arms dealer. Hi, welcome to Jake's. I got some great merchandise on stock. Feel free to look around. Uh, well, uh, what can you tell me about a water chip? Man, you look, you like the rare stuff. Where were you when I was selling some depleted uranium rounds a few years ago? I don't do chips, though. Hey, I'm arguing it. Anything else? Well, tell me about yourself. Well, I've been around. 
Used to, be, used to be with the Union of Atomic Workers. Sort of like the Brotherhood, but less friendly. They wanted to keep themselves, and I'm... Well, I wanted to see the world and be my own boss, so I left. The Union swiped them out about ten years ago, so I guess I made the right decision. I eventually settled down here. The cops don't like my trade, and I've been roasted more than, on, more than once, but I'm a hell of a lot more honest than most of the merchants here. So, tell me what you got. I deal with high-end arms. The best stuff you can find this side of the Brotherhood. And since the Brotherhood doesn't deal with outsiders, I've gotta say, I'm the best. I have a sniper rifle, and I wouldn't be hard-pressed to find flamethrow fuel anywhere else in the waste. Oh yeah, I've got a Geiger counter too. Very rare. A Geiger counter, very rare. Let's see, we found in Mitch's shop there was one, we found ourselves one, and then there may have been some, there is one other shop here that has possibly two, and you have a Geiger counter. Yeah, yeah, it's very rare, very rare, nobody has it, no, 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 no. Nobody has a Geiger counter. What a moron. So tell me more about the sniper rifle. Ah, the DKS is a fine long-range weapon. It was originally originally point three oh eight, but we rechambered it for the more common two two three round. We tuned the barrel too. Most importantly, check out this trigger. Smooth, huh? The trigger breaks perfectly now. Overall, this is a good choice for hunting any type of animal. Oh, sounds good. Let's see if we can make a deal. Here's what I've got. So yeah, this guy sells a really, really good stuff. Just look at all this. Look at it. Look at it. Love it. Take it. So anyway. What he has, like I said, really good stuff. And, yep, there it is. Sniper rifle. Oh, the very early Ge Geiger counter. Oh. Ooh, I really want this. Eight thousand. <laughs> Not gonna get that. So like, actually, let's see what he has. He has a steam pack, a metal armor, some rockets. That's the explosive rocket, flamethrower, hunting rifle, SMG, grenade, plasma grenade. No, actually, that's not a proud plasma. That's a pulse. Good against the uh, robotic enemies. And there's the rocket launcher, the F and Fal, or assault rifle. The assault rifle, another metal armor. Did you have a metal armor here already? Why is it? Why is it not stacked? Oh, sniper rifle. Huh. I bet that's gonna be even more than the combat armor. Only two thousand seven hundred. Hey, <laughs> might be taking that. I really am tempted to take that. Also, bullets. I need all that ammo. Okay, maybe not all of it. Maybe not even some of it. Damn it. Oh, there's some AP, 5 millimeter, 5 millimeter AP ammo and he has small energy cells. Hmm. And also, rocket AP. Oh, he has so much good stuff. So much good stuff. Combat armor, a combat shotgun. Ugh. How much can we spare? Do we sell everything we have? How much do we get? Because I want that. Combat shotgun, at least. I'm not sure about the sniper rifle. If I am gonna get the sniper rifle and the combat shotgun, so one of these guys has got to go. Although variety is good to have. Yeah, the combat armor is not something we're gonna get just yet. But... This is something that we are going to get. Gonna do is just take it, take it two. So that's 42 bullets already. How much uh, did I have? Okay, how much do you sell them for? Quite 
expensive, but I'll take it. And also I'll take yours. I already have a 334. That's a really that's a really a good amount. And I got my own Gardier counter there, and I'll sell that. Because I really don't use those uh, doctor bags and uh, the uh, first aid kits that much anyway. So, better just get rid of it. Guess I can take more of these. Really expensive, really expensive. But I wasn't no, I wasn't expecting anything else. How might I take those 12 bullets off? Still more than I want to pay. Because I don't want to spend any of my hop, any of my caps because I want to gather as many caps as I can for future uses. No, not gonna sell any of those. Not gonna sell any of those. Why do I still have the cat's paw? I do not know. Uh, okay, let's. It's uh, only eighty. But we're gonna get two new weapons from this. So, offer those. Thank you. Thanks. So, we got now some super weapons. We got a really strong, two really strong pistols. A really, really, really awesome sniper rifle. And a shotgun. A combat shotgun. Why is combat shotgun so good? Well, a combat shotgun has the ability to go cause burst, like S like an SMG or an assault rifle. They can do bursts. So can a shot combat shotgun, and it is awesome. I'm gonna save here and see if I can go into the back rooms here. I can. Good. Let's see what we can find here, if anything. <laughs> Restock. Good thing that I came to check here. Because you never know what you might find. Nuka Cola and beer. Warm and flat. Both of them. Wouldn't you want to drink some warm and flat beer? Yummy. Ooh! Some more stuff. I'm gonna grab them all. Because I can sell those items in the future. I got at least I got some stuff. I'm sure they're all so far. It's all worth They're all worth at least The items that I now just got That's 1,000. I got a thousand two hundred maybe Anything here nothing When you go to places, it's always good to check everything also in here, in this uh, in this uh, building, let's see if we can see inside. There's uh, Vance here. He's a drug dealer, so you can buy steam packs, uh, psychos, mentats, whatever you can think of. He will sell them. So if ever you need to get some a big stock on uh, steam packs and such, he's a good. He's the uh, person to go for. And every merchant restocks at least once a month, so if you buy everything from him, you'll have to wait. Let's play Global Nuclear War, Thermal Nuclear War. Nice reference! <laughs> Didn't expect that the old Slappy would actually say that. Yeah, this is this guy here, who just walks around and babbles. This is Slappy, old Slappy. So yeah, he just made a reference to an old 80s movie called War Games. I suggest that you should watch it. It's a really good one. Even if it does have a very young uh, Matthew Broderick uh, in it. That's why Global Thermonuclear War. And here we have our first ever mutant. Or rather, as people call them, a ghoul. Let's talk to him. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a... Poor mutant down on his luck. <coughs> Gotta love his face. He looks so beautiful. Nice tuft of hair, too. Yeah, here. 25 bucks. Good luck to you. Oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. 
You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Well, it's good to know that I could help. I need, um, uh, hmm, why is that? <laughs> Rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. So what happened to you? Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. Phew. <sighs> Long time. Tell me more about those days. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. Then I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. So if you haven't realized, he's over 90 years old. He's about 100 years old at this time. He said, yeah, he was young, but oh, do I remember that. So yeah, he was about... I don't I'm not sure. It's never specified... But he might have been uh, at least uh, around ten years old when that happened, when the war happened. So this guy is really a hundred years old. Tough guy. So what did you do then? Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people though. <laughs> Wow. Uh, gangers got him. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Where were the mutants coming from? Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the northwest. Did you explore that area? We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Where exactly did you go? I can't remember the route or anything, but I am damn sure it was northwest, though. I think. Northwest, huh. What about your leader? Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. And what was that? Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. How did you know this base was the cause? Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. Did you examine the base closely? We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. And then? One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. Whatever happened to Mark? To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Couldn't face the wasteland again, so I, I never looked. What about you and Gray? We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. What? A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. And you never saw Gray again? No, you idiot! I just said I never saw him again, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. Sorry about that. So how did you survive? Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. How did you mutate? All I know is it was something inside that base. Do you think it could have been radiation? How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Well, thanks for the story. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Any time. Poor Lord Old Harold. Had a tough history, him. But let's ask him what we came here for. Oh, hey, it's you again. 
Here's 20 punks, if you need it. Anything I can do for you? I need info on them Deathclaw, and I hear you're the man. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Gonna kill it. Okay. Well, it's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Any weaknesses? Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. What kind of problem? I can't look at him. It is said the death claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Great. Thanks. Good luck to you. You're gonna need it. Could be. Awesome. So yeah, death claws. Uh, I'm not sure if I did explain what death claws are. Maybe I have, but I think that was in my failed recording. Death claws are really the most uh, dreaded enemy in uh, Fallout history. Forget all about the mutants. Forget about the ghouls and everything. Death claw is where it's at. Those things will maul you to death in a second if you're not equipped for it. And that is why I want the goddamn combat armor from Jake. I really need that armor. But that is for uh, next time. I'm not sure what we're gonna do next time. Um, maybe explore some more around here, talk to more merchants, and possibly get some extra time for our water chip dilemma. You'll see what I mean once we get there. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye. Take care, everybody.